This is our second week talking about leading and managing staff. This week I want to talk a little bit about the upcoming professional development plan assignment that is due on October 11th. To start the assignment, I would actually recommend you look at the attachments first. There are completed and blank evaluations and self-evaluations. This way your mind will have a frame of reference. You are going to be developing two staff development plans to help two employees. The one I evaluated for you and the one you will make up. How do you develop a staff development plan? You need to take a look at their strengths and areas for growth. What types of trainings do you feel they would benefit from? First, set their goals. Then, determine what types of training they should attend. Let me give you an example. Annual goal, to provide stronger support to the staff in the classroom. Training, attend a workshop on mentoring and supporting staff. You would need to search for an example online of the type of training they might attend. Reading, recommend a book or article that might help the staff member related to this topic. You need to come up with three goals for each of the employees, which would mean three training ideas and three potential readings as well. Hopefully, this will help you start on the assignment if you haven't already. Back to our topic of the week. To me, I believe the most important aspect of leading and managing staff is related to respect. If I keep respect in mind, it will dictate the way I handle all different sorts of situations. Here are a few examples. If I respect my teachers, I will ensure they feel supported in the classroom. I will listen when they say they need more training in different areas. I will help them get out of the classroom to attend those trainings. I will work with them to make a strong plan for professional development. I will be there for them. If I respect the children, I will ensure the classrooms are safe and inviting. I will make sure I show respect by hiring teachers who have training and demonstrate a professional commitment to young children. I will listen to them and I will maintain a program that will help them develop lifelong relational, cognitive, and physical skills. If I respect the parents, I assume they are the child's first teacher. I will listen to their concerns. I will develop plans. I will respect their right to be involved in their child's education. It all comes down to respect. Have a great week.